Hey, this is the McGuire Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Super Vampire by Queen Games. This is uh, from Julian Gupta and Johannes Berger. It is a two to four player game, six plus and 20 minutes on this one. You know, I'll tell you, you're able to play this game most of the time faster than even 20 minutes. I would say 20 minutes is probably on the, on the side of having four players. We've played this probably about 10 times since we got it recently here and we picked this up at, uh, at Origins. And I'll tell you, Queen Games really did a fantastic job with this one. You know, I've got quite a few of their games, but we've really been impressed with this one. It's got a very, very simple mechanic, very, very simple gameplay, but it's a ton of fun and the kids love it. I enjoy it as an adult. Um, it's really, it's really a good dexterity game. So let me, let me get into the gameplay mechanics here, and I'll go over some of the components. So at a high level, basically what you're going to be doing is selecting uh, one of these four towers here. And the premise of the game is you're this vampire, and you're going out, and you're trying to bring back garlic cloves for, you know, your particular color's, uh, you know, beast or monster that's down inside of each one of your, one of your pillars here. So on your turn, you're going to take this large uh, wooden die here, and you're going to roll that die. And I'll have pictures here at the end to show kind of up close what the game board looks like, so you can get a feel for these different colors and how the garlic cloves are spread out across the top of this board. And let's just say that I rolled a yellow garlic clove. What's going to happen at this point is I'm going to put on this little... Uh, this little black cap here, and it's kind of like a thumbtack, right? But you you put it on your put it on your index finger there, and let's say I was let's say I was the green vampire here. I'm gonna take this little wooden uh, this little wooden chip here that represents my green vampire, and I'm gonna start pushing from the back with my finger and navigating to where the yellow garlic clove is on this maze, and it's right here. So I, you know, depending on what I roll. Uh, so, for instance, the yellow one's here, the green one is here. If I was to roll the green one, I could very quickly just go right over there, land on the green clove, and when you land on what, you're, what you rolled, you're going to pick up one of these little garlic cloves, and you're going to put it right on top of your chips. Let's say I was able to navigate over there, you know, and if you fall off, then you got to start over, so you don't want to fall off, and it's not as easy as it looks, okay? I was able to kind of quickly do that, but again, I've played this like 10 times, it's actually nowhere near as easy as it looks. And there's a couple different boards this comes with on the top, so it gives you some variation and some replayability when you go through the game. So I've made it now successfully to my yellow uh, clove, and, I, and I, well, I'm going to grab one, and I'm going to put it right on top. Now, it's kind of a push-your-luck game, and I'll show you where this comes into play. The next thing that's going to happen for me as a player on my turn is I'm going to decide, do I go ahead, now I've got a clove, do I try to race back to my tower and drop that clove. And there's little slots on top of these, so you can drop those cloves right down inside of there. Do I get back to my tower, or do I push my luck and roll again? Okay? Now, if I was to roll again, I rolled a green. Well, green's kind of on the way back home, so I got lucky with that roll. Uh, so I'd stop off a green, I'd grab another one, and now I have two to take back home. Let's say I would have rolled a color that's like way out here on the board. Well, I would now need to navigate all the way over there and then come all the way back home. Here's the trade-off in the push-your-luck part of the game. While you're doing that, someone else in the game <clears throat> is holding this, which has six squares on it, and you have six black dice. Now, those six black dice on only one side, so one out of six chance, has a little yellow sign. <clears throat> and... One person is, and it's again, it's important, one at a time, they're rolling these dice, and that's almost like your push your luck counter. So they're rolling these dice, and I got I rolled all black. Okay, I pick them up, one at a time, I roll again. I just keep rolling. Okay, I got one sun, two sun, three sun. Wow, this is a good roll. Okay, so I got three sun on that. <clears throat> As I get those suns, I put those in this in this piece of cardboard here for each one of those spots. And what that basically allows me to do is that's my timer, that's my clock. So it makes it very random and it's it's really fun because one player is trying to think, oh, do I go for, 
you know, another piece of garlic? Am I going to have enough time to get back, back home, get back to my tower? How many suns have been rolled so far? Oh, there's three that are already out there, and I've only been going for maybe 10 seconds. Okay, it's probably going to be pretty risky to try to roll again. Someone's probably going to get the other three suns before I get back to my base. And that's, that's how you would would lose the garlic that you would have. Let's say that I that I did roll in my example and I navigated all the way back over, I navigated all the way back over to my green and let's see how fast I can make it. Oh, okay, I made it and I get and I grabbed my my green or I, I, I'm sorry, I grabbed my clover here and I put it right on the top. Now I have two, but at the same time this other person in the game is continuing to roll them dice, right? So at this point, I'm like, okay, I got to get back home. So it's kind of this rush of trying to then get back to your base. And you have to get back there before all six suns are rolled. Because as soon as, those, soon as that sixth sun is rolled, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. And turns over. And if, and if you land, if you, know, you end it here and someone says, okay, I got the sixth sun and you're here, uh, too bad, right? Garlic goes back in the pool and your turn is over and you don't get to go back and take those garlics and then drop them again in that slot at the very top for your uh, your garlic monster, right? So that's really the over the overview and the premise of the game. And I'll tell you, it really is nail biting in certain situations because especially when you're when you're when you're a fair distance from where you need to go and someone's just rolling and those suns are popping up one after the other. So, you know, we've had a great time with it. It's excellent gameplay. I'm very impressed. The game has got a great look to it. I mean, it was it was very simple to to put together. Uh, these towers do break down, so everything goes cleanly back in the box. You know, you've got a really, really high colorful base here, which actually is double-sided. So the base of this on one side is a very colorful down view into, um, you know, kind of the the vampire's castle or mansion. It's very colorful, each different room, very detailed. They've even got a picture of uh, at least one, if not a couple, of their games sort of strategically drawn and embedded into these rooms, which I thought was kind of a, a cool little uh, Easter egg they kind of built into there. And then the underside of this is a, is actually um, a different a different look as well. So it's just kind of a fun way to sort of change up the look of the game as you're as you're always kind of looking down on this board game. So again, couple different types of uh, tops that you can put on this so you can get that replayability and change up the way the game works. I really like this game. Again, I can't say how impressed I am from Queen Games on this one. Uh, it's a very simple game. If you've got kids, pick this one up. They'll love it, trust me. Click that like button below. Subscribe if you want to join the McGuire clan. This has been the McGuire Review. Thanks a lot. I really like this game.